Welcome back to Making Moves. I am here with a very exciting guest, our first dude in the studio. What? Yeah. No way. The one and only wow. Connor Wood, aka Fibula. Howdy. Howdy. Thanks for having me. I, you didn't. You didn't let me know that I was going to be the first guy in well, the guest. Well, okay. The... Here's the thing. I've had a podcast for a long time. Okay. But I just signed with the network, so I rebranded. So now it's wow. called Making Moves. It was like a juicy pod. It was different. So I like rebranded, and you're the first dude in studio. Amazing. That's, yeah. I mean, that's huge for me. Yeah. What? Well, congrats. It's kind of a lot of pressure now. <laughs> so I have like, I was texting all of my friends. I was like, all right, bitches, what should I ask the dude that comes in? Oh, God. Yeah. Juicy so, questions. Yeah. For context, right before we started recording, she said, by the way, if you feel <laughs> uncomfortable with any of these questions, yeah, you can like, say no. We can cut them out. I, now I see what we're getting into. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So do you want to explain how we met? Yeah, like what? Forty eight hours Five ago. Five seconds ago. <laughs> I know. Not me networking at the bar. Okay. Um. Yeah, we were just out at uh, Jameson's bar, in, which I love that in, bar. Oh my, that bar. I think I told you this. Like, feels like home, to me. It feels like my like like hometown, like college. It does feel like, like a collegey like, bar. Yeah. Bro-y. Everyone's like, it's like great energy. It does get a little packed, which is. But I like it. But it's like kind of nice. Yeah, like everyone's on the same page. Yeah. No one is ever like going crazy in there's there. lots of screens but with everyone like the is games like on. having fun yeah they're there for the games mm-hmm. i don't know good energy I, I, lo- I agree yeah very underrated bar it is but i want to keep it that way oh, like yeah, it's I like agree. good so maybe don't go there there's no like there's enough seating outside where like if you go to eat you can sit outside true but like it's not going to be like oh we can't get into jameson's yeah that sucks have yeah. you ever been when they have a live band there no where it's would they sick. put a live band they put it in like the back or the front corner front left corner oh, okay that makes sense mm-hmm. well that would be fun i know next time it's we sick go. well <laughs> we're gonna be jameson's regulars yeah seriously <laughs> i feel like i am at this point i kind of am too yeah i'm surprised i haven't seen i you know there. seriously anyway i've gone like every weekend the past like <laughs> five weekends <laughs> well i haven't been in a while so okay, that's probably well, let's, why let's get those numbers up. i know <laughs> i'll see you there next this weekend yes exactly <laughs> one more day till the weekend but we were all there. Were you there? You were there with you, your was, agents as well. I was with like the UTA. UTA Bro- I was group. With Brooke. Okay, cool. So okay, cool. And Brooke's Brooke, at UTA. Yeah, Brooke's one of my best friends. Okay, okay. This and is all adding up. We, yeah, we kind of met through like YouTube world. Right. And so, like her, it was her first time being to LA since she signed. Oh. And so I didn't think know they that. were trying to like you know really schmooze her as agents yeah. do and you know take her out to dinner and whatever. And we also like I have such a fun relationship with already a bunch of people that work with UTA that I go out with them. Yeah. Like I, I love yeah. going out with Pranav and yeah. you know team members whatever. And so we decided we were like let's go out and I already knew them so this is perfect. We we're like let's go out whatever. Yeah. And then how did you get wrapped into this? Because I'm not really that familiar. I think we have the same agents. I needed to dive into it deeper, but obviously okay. like we, you everybody got the there. Invite had, yeah, somehow. Yeah, yeah. My <laughs> agents were there. Both of my got agents it. were there, and they were like, "You should come to Jameson's. We're going tomorrow." And I was like, "Okay." Oh like my twist God. my arm. I love it. They're and so fun though. Yeah, they, they, like, are. they hang out. Yeah, we're like friends out like we would be friends outside of yeah. our relationship. But um it was so fun. So fun. And we hung out and like you and I clicked pretty much uh-huh. right away. And the rest is history. Now we're here. Yeah, now we're buds. <laughs> yeah. We did like so much professional <laughs> like so many professional action items while we were at Jameson's. Like yeah. we're like yeah, we'll get another drink, and then also like let's circle back on <laughs> YouTube, and then also like podcast who's in. So I was like, I was hey, like yeah, we could do that. I was like Saturday, though. trying to pick his brain. I'm like, what the heck? Like, are you doing? I'm like, where's the podcast? Where's the use? Yeah, I want yeah, yeah, vlogs. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, she's like on my yeah. ass. Well, like, I'm like my full time job is being a producer, so yeah. I come up with like bits yeah. and ideas no, for things was, all the time. It fired me up. Yeah, and then I was like, and he's like taking notes. Yeah. Oh, I have a I had a full <laughs> note page of like things to add to my to-do list Love it. that I need to do. Yeah. Anyways. And then the next day I like, instead of texting, I was like, I started texting you and then I was like, I don't fucking care if he thinks I'm weird. Like I don't care. And I just audio messaged him. I was like, Hey, it's circling back per our discussion. Yeah. 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 All of the like yeah, business the lingo. lingo circling back, touching base, touching base. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was much needed. And, and I appreciate that. History. Yeah. Now so we're here. We made it. Anyway, you are one of my favorite TikTokers. Thank you. Mm, uh, I actually realized when I mentioned you in my story that I had DM'd you at the beginning of the panty when you started posting. Yeah. And I think it was after, I, which is one of my favorite TikToks, when you were like out outside the pool and you're like slipping, sliding, like. Oh, yeah. What were you singing? 
Uh, it was Savage by Megan yes, Thee Stallion. Yes, you and you were doing the movements, but they were like so bad, but yeah. so funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so I DM'd you and I was like, your TikToks are getting me through quarantine. I saw that like whenever, like on Saturday when I went to DM you about something. And I was like, whoa, weird. That is so crazy. Full circle. So, but I had, it's kind of crazy that we hadn't ever um, met. But yeah, I definitely slid in and I was like, I, you're, and I, and all of the girls that I was living with at the time in our house, who are a bunch of other creators, we like love your TikToks. So they're going to be very happy you're on. That is so amazing to hear. It warms <laughs> my heart. That so, was... yeah. How the heck did this happen? Like, I know you, I listened to your podcast with Nick and you explained a little bit how you did the, you worked for Bumble, right. graduated UT. I, I guess I don't want to give your elevator pitch for you. Go ahead. Oh, Have no, the honor. Please do. Um, Yeah. Basically, like, how did this, this yeah, happen? Like, this why are we here fruition? right now? Like, give me your elevator pitch. Um, I went to school at UT Austin mm-hmm. uh, in Texas. And you're from Texas. I'm from Texas. Where in Texas? I was born in Austin. No way. Moved around. My dad was in the military, so we were in Hawaii for a while. Guam. Whoa. Yeah. Cool. Island boy. And then moved back to Texas for, okay. like, school. Um, And worked at, I interned at Vans for three years in school, and then uh, grad, or Senior year, I switched over to Bumble, did digital marketing stuff, then switched like upon graduation because I hated digital marketing um, to like physical marketing, like events and okay. creative. Being and more it, like facey. The things that like, m- like my job was to like make things that like go viral on social media. Uh-huh. So like I built out like a money booth for International Women's Day. Like, we built it from scratch where people, like, adults on Wall Street in New York did, like, a pop-up, could get in and catch actual money. Oh. And then afterwards, we'd have, like, the guy get out, the girl get out, and they would, they maybe grabbed similar amounts of money, but, like, the guy ended up with more because of the, like, girls make every oh. X amount of dollars. So, like, stuff like that where, like, that would Got get, it. and it's all Bumble branded. It was, wow. like, Bumble bucks, and then we ended up donating, like, 25 grand to some. Oh, my God. Hot. Something. Love it. But. Things like like splashy activation pop up type yeah. things that was my job so it's like you can't put it into a description but that was it and then I left like got fired from Bumble and then <laughs> went over to Bird which is in Santa Monica down the street from where I live now uh-huh. um, and I did similar kind of thing like physical we were growing so fast at the time that like it was just like being physically marketing like in different locations. So So were you always like interested in those kind of like startup y type? I love startups. Startups okay. are so fun. Why? And just because you had so much freedom uh-huh. and it was like a drug kinda. Yeah. It was like you were busy like nonstop. Yeah. You're you doing never, a bunch of different roles. You never had a job description, which ended up biting me in the ass, but because you can't like go and apply to a specific role on LinkedIn. Um because you didn't have a specific role at mm-hmm. your previous job. So you just like basically BSing your way into your new yeah. role every single time because you're like, yeah, I did that. I did that. I know how to do that. I knew how to do at targeted ads. I knew how to do social media. I knew how to do our email campaigns. Uh-huh. I can do whatever, like event planning, whatever, you name it. So it was just like after then the pandemic hit and then I was like, okay, well, what am I going to, what's going to be my next job at this next startup that I work at? Um, and then I just started doing TikTok because I was so bored. Okay. And then it ended up taking off. But I got let go okay. from Bird during the pandemic. Got it. So you moved to LA for Bird. For Bird, yeah. What was your initial thought of LA? Well, my mom was sending me all these things, and it was like, basically, I'm going to get murdered if I go outside of that. <laughs> and I was like, oh, crap. Where'd you move to? Santa Monica? Santa Monica, okay. yeah, like right on Wilshire. And so, like, I didn't go outside at night because she was sending me all these articles, and it was like. <laughs> imagine being a girl. Oh, my God. I can't. I can't. I can't imagine. <laughs> Um, and so like, I was just like head on a swivel constantly. Like, yeah. and then I'm like, I live in Santa Monica. Yeah. Like it is like the safest it's place like the ever. Nicest place. I live like next to an air one. Like yeah. didn't know what that was at the time, obviously. But I was like, like two months and I'm like, mm-hmm. what were we, what are, where would those articles even come from? Like yeah. no one's about, no one's following me around trying to like uh-huh. kill me in Santa Monica. Um, but it was cool. Like I'm, I've always been on West side. Uh-huh. Like I literally never went to West Hollywood until TikTok, yeah, basically, made it like really cool <laughs> to go to West Hollywood. Saddle Ranch, Saddle Ranch, yeah, Bowen Steakhouse. Have you I, been? I went first for both of those, like in this year, like twenty, end, maybe end of twenty twenty, 
when things started opening back up. Got it. That was my first time going to both. I haven't been to Boa Steakhouse. Don't go. Really? No. I want to do a video though where I like be a TikToker for a day and I like go to all the spots. That could be worth it. Like, mm-hmm. don't make it your special thing to go to both because okay. it is like literally not. Not that great. No. Okay. It's like a picture. So, what did you think? Like, just being like a normal dude and then being like a TikToker. Like, what did you think of like Instagram people, but or like Instagram and TikTokers like before you became one? Like, be brutally honest. Yeah. No. Were, like, I so mean, so cringe or what was it? No. Like? I mean, since I worked at those startups. Like, I worked with a lot of them. Mm-hmm. So, like, I always thought it was cool. I'm like, oh, I get to hang out with these people. Oh, really? Yeah. You I didn't I've, have any, like, cringy experiences? No. Like, everyone I worked with was pretty cool. Oh, I love that. I yeah. feel like most of the time people shit on influencers. No. Yeah. Um, one, thing I, one thing that is, like, built into my brain, what I remember specifically uh-huh. is thinking, like, Okay, I paid them already. Like, just post the freaking picture. Oh. You know, like, I'm on a timeline. I have to report back to, like, my boss. Got it. Or whatever. And then now getting inbounds and getting, like, brand deals, it's like, you actually have to put some time into it. It's it's like, especially making a video, Uh because there's as much pressure on, you know, us to be like, I need this to do well, Mm -hmm. or else people are going to be like, you're a sellout and yeah. you suck I and know. I hate you I and I wish you were never born. And it needs to be as natural as possible, but it's not because they give you a gazillion talking points right. and you're like trying to, especially I'm, I'm assuming for you, like me, like I'm lifestyle girly, so I can be like, oh my God, I love this product. And like, I could basically sell like my boss always says, we could sell a lawnmower Yeah, because like we yeah. work so many different brands, but being comedy, I'm sure that's hard to like write out jokes with your ad integrations. Is that challenging? Yeah, sometimes um, only when the brands are like, we have to be careful with what claims we're making. Got it. I worked, I worked with a brand recently that had like, I made all these, I, I went back and forth with them. I think I ended up making like six separate videos, which uh-huh. like, those were all bits, 60 second, yeah. you know, like It also takes a long jokes. time to film and stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, that's a good video that's going to do really well. Uh-huh. Why do you want me to do this like step by step? Yeah. Here's my night routine thing. Like no one's going to believe that. Yeah. If I post that <laughs> and they're like, it's what you have to do. And I'm like, OK, wow, you guys, it's you're reaping the the, the benefits of this, which uh-huh. is none probably. But and then also like if you do, I don't want to s- throw anybody under the bus, any sort of like bank or money related thing uh-huh. company. Mm-hmm. It's like you have to read the terms and conditions. Yeah. It's like people don't care. I know. They'll take the risk. Yeah. But yeah, the legality stuff is like tough. But Exactly. Okay. So you became a TikToker. Yeah. And like, what is that like for you now? Like, are, are you mind blown at like the amount of money you can make as a TikToker? Yeah. It's wild. It's crazy. But honestly, like, again, coming from the brand side, it's like, that's where you have to be right now. Yeah. And it is worth the money because uh-huh. the potential to go viral, especially if you're giving an influencer um, or like a creator, mm-hmm. a little bit of freedom to make it fit their page, totally. make your product fit their page, you're going to get your money's worth, yeah. like by far. I had an ad recently um, for Viore, mm-hmm. the clothing, and it was, my friend works there. Okay. And she was like, kind of like, it was not like a ton of money, but it was like, this is a cool brand. I love yeah. Viore. And so I was like, I want to work with them. Uh-huh. And so I was like, I'll do it. It ended up getting like 3.1 million views Holy shit. and it was like a very 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 small ad spend uh-huh. so i was like you're like i just made the you got your thing. you got your thing you're like we're going we're good right yeah you but you I? know what i feel like as a creator like it makes me so happy when it does perform well yeah, for them of because yeah you're like i want you to win yeah exactly it's good for me and too you're like, if i get a bunch of views yeah and it's cool when you're like oh my gosh people actually respond well to my Right. Like what I have to say right. or what right. I'm advertising, which is like the whole point. Right. Which is cool. It's really cool. It's really cool. Do you make, I don't know if this is too invasive of a question, but do you make more money now than you did working? Oh, yeah. 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 Is it like, is that a weird thing for you what, to understand or did you know that going into it? No, I had no idea. Yeah. Neither did I. No. And I would talk to my friends when I was working at Bird um, and I talked to one person who was doing who had been doing this since like college and she was like yeah i'll do one ad on instagram and like i'll pay my rent for the year and i was like (laughs) i was like oh my god like i think if i got my entire paycheck from any previous job like i would not be able to pay my rent for the year like up front 
Oh, yeah, same. I'd be like, okay, crap, I need to, like, reallocate all this stuff. And it's just insane, but it is, like, proof's in the pudding. It's, like, yeah. where, the, where the money is right now is, like, for brands is on TikTok or on digital, just regardless. Totally. So. Do you think that what influencers get paid is fair? It's, that's, like, a double-edged sword, I feel I know. like. It's a, I put you in a tough position. Yeah, no, I mean, it doesn't feel fair like receiving it i'm like oh that you know i feel like teachers should get paid this much but i know i know um, specifically teachers numbers say otherwise like having come from a marketing background like this gives you the return on the investment mm -hmm. that you're putting in mm -hmm. the numbers like if you're getting this many yeah. eyes like that's worth it to a brand uh -huh. so I don't know. I, I it, kind of agree. And also, like, I work for a big yeah. creator, like, a really big creator. And she, like, seeing the amount of time and effort she puts, yeah. she's put into her. She's been, she started YouTube 13 years ago. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, she didn't get a check for years. Yeah. And I don't know. Seeing, like, how much she's put, like, time and effort into whatever. Right. It's, like, now I'm, like, to it's totally fair. Right. But I could see why, like, an outsider would be, like, what the hell? Yeah. Because yeah. we're, no, like, I mean, goofing around. But, like, we fair did Fair is, like, a weird way to put yeah. it. Like, yeah, it's fair because people are putting in effort and, and like, on paper, anyone can do this. Yeah. Like, if you want to do it, do it. Totally. You know, like. Okay, switching gears. Um, you worked at Bumble. Yeah. And I listened on Nick Vial's podcast. He said you gave him the tip about how you need to have a smiling photo and you're yeah. like first fro f first pick. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, totally. So there's I don't I I should have looked this up after I was on the podcast, but the numbers like the percentage of matches made go up by like sixty something percent when you have a smiling like a photo. picture of you smiling With the first. Teeth. Yeah, just by yourself. Solo shot, smiling. Got it. Yeah. Do you have um, a Bumble account? Not on my phone right now. I actually ran out of space like this weekend doing something. Got it. And <laughs> deleted, deleted. First thing I deleted was all my dating apps. All really? seven of them. So you don't use dating apps? I do. Yeah. Sometimes when I'm like, I go I go through waves. Now it's getting cold out and obviously I'm like. Yeah. Cuffing season. Carpal tunnel, <laughs> like trying to swipe through every app. <laughs> like, they're like, you're out of matches. I'm like, premium. Yeah. Uh, just give me the premium. <laughs> boost, <laughs> boost. 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 Yeah, everything. <laughs> Um, no, I use them here and there. Obviously, it changed. That changed too. It sucks. Yeah. You know? Um, what do you mean? Because, like, and it happened so fast because I was, like, using it, and then all of a sudden I get my first match. Well, I, I pretty much consistently, like, before this, had, like, 10 or so matches. Like, I wasn't, like, I'm not, like, crazy, like, swiping all the time. So, yeah. like, I usually had a couple matches. As soon as, as soon as this started going off, I'm, like, oh, I'm 50-plus matches, like, all Wait, the time as soon now. as you started blowing up on TikTok? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so I'm like, uh, okay, like, come on. Yeah. Because I'm like, now, like, my personality is, like, doing it for you. What about my looks? Yeah. What about my huge biceps? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What about those? Those have always been here. Yeah. Um, Just kidding. But, yeah, no. So I've, I, you know. So it's just hard to date. Because you're tough, like, are yeah. you dating me for, because I'm a TikToker? Or are you yeah, dating me because. Yeah, I don't want to talk about TikTok. For the most part. Oh, yeah. yeah. When you're on dating apps yeah. and stuff. Yeah. What is your type? Um, I don't think I really have one, honestly. Funny. Okay, but, okay, besides yeah. funny. Um, Semi-athletic. Not, like, too athletic. <laughs> yeah, like, not more athletic than you. No, I mean, I don't care if she's more athletic than me. I just, like, don't want to have the pressure to like Got it. go play volleyball Why athletic? at 6 do you like did you grow up in a sports family or what no just like pretty active like okay. we hike a lot like we things. yeah we we travel like my family and i travel a lot mm -hmm. i still go on so many trips with my family mm -hmm. and like it's always it's like non-stop like my mom's up at like for the sun no matter where we yeah. are and like we have the day like booked out like see my mom's hike, like yes it's scheduled dive it's yeah. not relaxed it's no. like this after this, after this. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. yeah yeah so it's my pretty, family does that too yeah and so like not athletic in the sense of like eye eye hand coordination, but like yeah. anything goes. Like, <laughs> like dunking, like decent yeah. at everything. Okay, or not decent can pick can up hang. on anything. Yeah, I don't Got know. It. Yeah. Okay, what else? Is there anything? So like my brother, for instance, my brother and I are like besties, and he like has this weird specific Paul. type. What? Paul. Philip. Philip. Crap. Phil. Phil. Why? Oh, I was close. Did I talk about him? No, too? I was just thinking because I listened and I can oh, I remember you wow, talking about good him. Good job. The, anyway, Paul. Phil. 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 Close, yeah. P. So he, uh, 
has this very specific type and he'll be like yeah i love a girl that can like rock a ponytail oh okay or like he's he, i mean i feel like he definitely gravitates towards blondes but like that's a weird thing he has or like i'm like I, they need to be able to like go out on the dance floor and make a fool of themselves like yeah. do you have any specific weird things like that yeah like i love when a girl has a trust fund <laughs> i think that that's so cool, <laughs> so cool. and down to earth yeah of i a agree girl to do mm -hmm. so. i like when they like have a shit ton of followers. Yeah, that's and, like a big mm -hmm. bonus. Got yeah. boat. Boat. We oh. talked about boats before Love we get in here. Yeah. Um. I don't have anything weird. Really? I don't think. No, like. Just good. Like tan. Tan. <laughs> like a healthy looking. Yeah. Like healthy. Like a nice summer glow. Yeah, and when I say healthy, I just mean like that's something that you know when you know, but like. Got it. You know, like, I don't know. Have you ever hooked up with a fan? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I mean, that comes. Are they like saying like fibula? Like, I'll be in like my Jameson state of mind okay. though, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And like, it's so funny when people like will have a conversation with you and they've clearly approached you based on nothing at a bar. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And like, you know that they are like basically just like yeah i follow you and whatever yeah. but they don't they never say they it. don't say it and see like, i prefer when they say yeah, it. yeah just say it yeah yeah so do I you prefer when a girl because you like at let me just paint the picture for you guys we're at this bar and connor is like vibing and thriving like not even being that crazy <laughs> you're just chilling we're like talking hanging out with like everyone and i'm not kidding you the amount of like every once in a while brooke and i had someone come up to us being like oh my god we watch your stuff right you are like a chick magnet at the bar. It's pretty Is that like that everywhere you go. Yeah, I'm. I don't get it because I say this all the time. I like it doesn't. It's not reflective of my following count. It's so strange. Really? No, because like I don't have that many followers. I was about to say, what's your demo? It's like seventy five percent women. But because that makes sense, I'm like, why aren't guys t coming up to me at the bar and saying they watch my shit? But why would they be watching my shit? Well, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't. I you have a bunch of girl followers, yeah. so that makes sense. It means a lot more to me when a guy is, is like, "Yo, I fuck with your stuff." Yeah, because I'm like, "Oh, well, good. I wrote that." You know, like <laughs> I sat down and I wrote it. Like, it's so fun. like it's like, wow, 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 yeah. for me. But like the amount of girls that came up was, to you was yeah. ba like it's baffling. It is wild, but I'm telling you, and I don't know what it is or like how the demographic is like split up. But, like, I, f I went in, my grandma lives in, like, Idaho, middle of nowhere, uh -huh. Idaho. Love it. And she, like, I have to fly into Boise to get there and then drive, like, an hour and a half. Uh -huh. So flew into Boise, and I'm, like, at this random Chipotle, uh -huh. like, in, like, middle of nowhere. And two girls came up separately. And we're like, really? oh, my God, I follow you on TikTok. Happens there, like, happens in Michigan, happens in... Uh -huh. it, it, I don't get it, because it's not reflective. The, the, like, quantity is not reflective of... Like, I think it makes sense. Also, maybe girls are more ballsy with like I think going that's, up. Yeah, I think that's too. I feel like guys that. don't go up and like fangirl. Yeah, I can like, see that. Right? Would you ever go up to like someone you follow? I would. Yep. Yeah, I would. Now I would. I don't think previously, but like if I was day. a civilian, <laughs> like at a bar, like be like, yeah. oh my god, I have to go tell. I but I've never, and I don't know if that's come with the fact that like. Even going way back to like Vans, like Vans was a cool company that worked with cool people. So I was in rooms all the time and yeah. they were like, big no no, do not approach athletes or celebrities. Got it. Ever. Uh -huh. And so I was in a lot of like rooms and parties and events where like it was just like, don't make eye contact. This is someone who's here to enjoy themselves. Yeah. And they're, they're a guest. I, I would a lot of times get to talk to them, but that just like, like fully desensitize me to any sort of yeah. like any sort of like celebrity like do you like it when people come up or is it kind of annoying yeah i like it for the most part like i went to there was only one time ever in my life that i've been like stop and it was in uh austin at acl i was with all my college friends oh, that makes sense and we were like walking around and like i couldn't st and my friends don't like it they're like yeah they're like let's get go like yeah like hang out with us yeah. like you're here for a weekend you know um and i'm like she's trying to be nice like oh you know of course i'll take a yeah. girl, like whatever like um and like that makes me look like such a dick like every single interaction matters because like one person can I walk know. away and be like he was such an and then asshole. they'll make a tiktok about you yeah they yeah. will and it'll go viral and it uh -huh. always does and your friends don't get it yeah and they're so, like it's just connor why do you want a photo i have one friend that'll be like get the get out of here <laughs> no he doesn't want to talk to you but like i'm like i'm not like a celebrity like yeah I'm not gonna act like I'm cooler than I am. Like, totally. of course I'll take a picture with you. Like, yeah. I don't know why you would want a picture with me, but, um, 
was I going to say? There, yeah, that was, and it was funny because I was actually with Sean Mendez for a little bit of ACL. Yeah, I saw the TikTok. Yeah, he's You're like giving a, share. He's a friend. I want to say he's a friend of mine. We've hung out a couple times, but he's definitely a friend of a friend of mine. Okay. Um. So, and he was walking around, and no one was stopping him. I think the approachability that I allow uh-huh. is higher than that makes like sense a to me. mega celebrity. Sean Mendez. I think also with like influencer people, we think that like because we share our lives, we think that we could be friends with them. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh, well, like you like um, UT, like I like UT. Yeah. So like, yeah. we could be buds. Yeah. And you share so much of your life. Like they, I mean, at least with girls, like you, they know your dog's name. They know your, yeah. Yeah. Um, what your bedroom looks like. They know what right. you like. So they like feel like, right. you know, you would be friends, which you probably would. It's just weird when I know nothing about them right right yeah totally totally it's like are you gonna kill me <laughs> i know but they know so much about you i know uh-huh but i was like a little bit shocked about the amount of people that were coming up to you girls oh you i mean it it literally started so it started right away like from tiktok uh-huh um like people were coming in, like found out where i lived during and they were coming the, during to your house? lockdown standing outside and yelling oh wow and i was like this is just like Again, not reflective of the follower count because that's like not something people that's something people do to like Bieber. It was yeah. just so freaking weird. I was like, hey, like Were you ever scared? You know, that freaked me out. Yeah. And it happened like five or six times. That's during, way crossing during the lockdown. line, in my opinion. Well, I had to delete all this stuff with any of like house. Anything that was like giving off where we yeah. where we were living exactly. I was just nervous. Yeah. That's not fun. I know. That's why like I'm my whole friend group is like hyper aware of like not showing yeah addresses like license plates things like that because people are crazy it is but such you're so new to it how did you know i didn't yeah yeah it was it was learning curve big time totally all right guys we're gonna cut to a quick break and come back with some more juicy questions santa baby it's holiday season and you know what to get as a gift or a stocking stuffer well today's sponsor Manscaped, baby. It has the tools to guarantee you win this year's stocking stuffer competition. Manscaped, honestly, I just want to give you a huge thank you for giving me the excuse to get all the gifts he's been needing year round. This is the most practical gift you can get your mans, ladies. Listen up. They've changed more than 4 million men worldwide for the better. If my math is correct, that's almost 8 million balls. Get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com with code MOVES. Ho, 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 fellas. Naughty or nice. Tis the season to perform. Ladies, you know what I mean. I don't know about you guys, but I've been getting invited to so many holiday parties. White elephant, secret Santa, like what do I get? And guys, I swear, everyone's going to be fighting over your gift, whether they're a girl or a guy, because girls, you need to get this for your mans, and men just need this in general. Manscaped. It's the best thing you could possibly get for a gift exchange or a white elephant present. It's like practical, but also funny, which is exactly what you want in like a white elephant scenario. So I definitely recommend getting Manscaped. Get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com with code MOVES. That is manscaped.com with code MOVES, M-O-V-E-S. Cheers to rocking the best gifts of all time this season. A gift for him, but really... A gift for you, baby. XOXO, Manscaped. Connor, do you, since getting into the space, have you found any, like, mentors or people that have kind of, like, taken you under your wing to teach you things like that? Yeah. Um, I, like, pry it out of people. Like, I, f- I have a lot of people that, like, I don't think realize that they're mentoring me. Got it. Um, like, Matt King I talked about. Love I, Matt. I go, yeah, he's the best. the best. So, so genuinely nice. So awesome. Um, He's been really cool. And like, I ask him questions all the time and he just like responds, but I don't think he, he knows that I'm like genuinely like, what do I do in this situation? Yeah. Um, And then Cody Co has become a really good friend of mine. He's the same way. Like I, he doesn't know. Yeah. I tell people this all the time. He's like, I'm like, he, he has no idea that I'm like making life decisions based on yeah. the qu- the answers like, that he's giving me. like, please take me under your wing. <laughs> yeah. Well, so he tells me so much stuff, but. They've been really good. Um, those two come to mind right away, but there's been so many. Yeah. Do, well, you seem like, I don't know, you seem like a very outgoing person in general, so are you pretty good at like making friendships, connections, stuff? Totally, yeah. And yeah. I like have lucked out with the people that I've gotten like like introduced to and like, mm-hmm. oh, 
Courtney Parchman, average fashion blogger. Oh yeah, has been really awesome. She's awesome. She's like a veteran as well, at least mm -hmm. in the Instagram space, and then moved it over just to TikTok. Like people so want to help too. Yeah, they. Are, yeah, it's it's so cool, and we don't need to be reinventing the wheel because no. so many people have done it. Totally. It's weird coming as like someone in their twenties, and like I've had a job, and all my friends have jobs, mm -hmm. and then going it going here and being like, okay, like, what do I do? Like, how does this work? Like. It's legitimately a full time job. Yeah. Like I'm I'm working more doing this than I did ever at my previous jobs. Like I had times at my previous jobs where I'd finish my work at noon. Well and then you're done. And then I'm like, shut my laptop, uh -huh. go home. You know? It's because now you it's, can check out though. Right. Like now you can't check out. Right. But it's like, okay, I'll get up at seven, I have like an hour, and then I'm like, okay, you send an email, something else comes in, I need to make content today mm -hmm. I, on like every platform. And then it's like, okay, and then I get to be on this lovely podcast. <laughs> um, so, like, you, it's just, like, it's hard. It is so hard. And, like, it's, you're basically running, I, I give this analogy all the time, like, I am my own startup now. Yeah, you are. And there's so many legs to it because you have all these mediums and then you have, um, like, business opportunities that come up. So, you're, so totally. you start doing merch or something. Like, uh -huh. you're communicating with all these different people and it's like, then you start have to, have to having to build out your team, and uh -huh. then you have all those people you're talking. It's just like, it is wild, uh -huh. and it's eye opening. It's you're flying by the seat of your pants, it, but I love it. I love oh, the chaos. Oh, it's it's so fun. Do you it's like a, the chaos? It's a bit of a high. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Same. But I have to be busy twenty four seven. When I like have a an hour to chill, right. I stress out. I'm like, like uh, that makes me more anxious than being the busiest ever. I gotta be booked. Really? I gotta be booked all the time. And then, like, I'm like, oh, I haven't posted on TikTok in one week. <laughs> Do you, you know? use uh, Google Cal or what? I use Google Cal, yeah. I'm getting better at time management. All my team, I'm trying to get them, like, onboarded so everyone can see the same calendar. Okay. Because now there's, like, nine people that are, like, all texting me separately, uh -huh. and they don't know why I can't get back right away. And it's like, <laughs> well, because I have nine things due for nine different people. Which won't make sense to anyone listening, I don't think. But you know what I'm saying. It's yeah, like, I know what you're saying. If you have, like... So you have a brand deal, but then you also have an agreement with, say, like a YouTube where like I need to be posting once uh -huh. a week because I, I signed to get content consistently up. Like, mm -hmm. So you have content due here. You have a draft due for a brand deal here. You, you have, have a podcast. Agents that, texting you, manager right. texting you. Right. It's just like a bunch of things that are not at all related to each other where you're switching gears where it's like I'm not just a graphic designer today. Uh -huh. Today I'm like a copywriter and – like a producer and an editor and the talent yeah. and the it's like crazy. Well, okay, the, it is crazy. I we're talking about exactly what this podcast is about, which is called making moves. Yeah. So I want to know. I want to know what like moves are you making right now? I know you mentioned to me something in the bar about how you want to dabble with YouTube stuff. You're gonna maybe start a podcast. I, I don't spilled know if my I'm guts to, say to you, at yeah, I, know. <laughs> I was like, tell me more. So what the heck? Like what's what's like the vision for Connor in like the next five years? How old are you? Am I allowed to ask? Twenty five. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm twenty four. No way. Mm -hmm. Okay, sick. So twenty five. You're a Virgo. Virgo. Libra. Yeah. Libra. Virgo. Virgo. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I thought you said Libra. I wish. I wish. Libra sounds better to me. I know that people have issues. Oh, uh, we were Virgos. just talking to Alexa, and she was giving us the rundown on our yeah, charts. Yeah, I'm not yeah, really yeah. an astrology person. I need person, to center my. You? No. Okay. You know what? Like I'm becoming more and more because I've come to the conclusion that if something works for somebody, what do I have to lose? Yeah. Have you taken the Enneagram test? No, I need to. Okay. I'm here. I'm more. really curious. That's what been you would coming be. up more and more. I'm a three. Okay. <laughs> I know that makes no sense to okay, you. Okay, it doesn't. A three is basically. <laughs> Thank you. In my eyes. I'm a three, which means I'm like the achiever. So okay. it's like I cannot stand not being perfectionist the best. Okay. Like I, for so long, I, not me making this about myself. <laughs> I started making um, YouTube videos a long ass time ago. And I literally like, I went to basically a film school and a fashion school and stuff. And I, I made all these videos and I was like, they were good. Like they were, they yeah. had a good story to them. And I edited them edited them very well and I wouldn't upload them because like I couldn't yeah. stand the way like I looked or like the way I sounded or like I just was like basically insecure yeah. with like which is weird because in real life I wasn't yeah but like putting content of myself out on the internet right. I was like this isn't per this isn't good enough right and like it's my biggest weakness is like 
being so crazy and picking myself apart about everything that like for so long I just missed out on a shit ton of money yeah. <laughs> posting or building my uh, career and brand because yeah. I like wouldn't post I was like you don't look good in that shot you sound stupid like I'd pick myself apart but now I'm like thank the lord like I've gotten over that hurdle but I don't know I don't I'm really curious to see what you would be it's basically more personality based yeah like, it's like more scientifically you take a test and then it tells you what number you would be I'm so curious as well I'll do that when we're done here. I'm maybe thinking like you're you're are you a perfectionist? You don't seem like No, it. I don't think I am. Um, maybe you're a seven or like a nine. I, I give think. up on stuff, to be totally honest. Really? Yeah. Like, what do you mean? I have YouTube I I told you that in the bar that I have like five YouTube videos yeah. that I just like made, edited, hated them afterwards, refilmed, edited. Wait, why'd you hate them? Um I so didn't good. think they were funny anymore. Me. Like the one YouTube video I made, like you didn't think they're funny anymore. No, and like I like I, looking back. Now I would think they're hilarious, but like when I first, when I finished them, I was like, "This is so cringy," you know. So, but and like my stuff, I like put a certain like amount of pressure on like making sure that it's got a joke every mm -hmm. thirty or so seconds at least. So, but with TikTok, do you like? Are you just like this is good, whatever? Or is it like less commitment? Uh, I mean, like it's gotten a little bit more because I've started to treat it like a portfolio as I branch out a little bit mm -hmm. into other um, opportunities. Like I'm like, okay, cool, numbers look good. Mm -hmm. Like I am constantly like being pulled back and forth between the quantity versus quality thing yeah. because. I know a lot of people that do have millions of followers because they post 12 times a day, uh -huh. but then you look at the view counts and the view counts are pretty yeah. sparse. Uh -huh. And I'm like, I don't know if I would rather have more followers or have every piece of content. Like I'm I'm pretty Hit. much like, that's pretty funny. Yeah. You know, like you could you could start at the top of mine and scroll and I feel pretty good with what you'd see. There's uh -huh. ads in there obviously, but like if a casting agent or a stand up touring person was like, they'd be like, okay, right as soon as I go to his page and start scrolling, like I, I get like a grasp hits. of like- yeah. You know, it's not just like, I'm, uh, I don't know. So I'm torn, like, should I be posting five times a day or should I be on what? Sticking TikTok? On TikTok, for Got example. It. But like, yeah, for YouTube, it, it became just like a, okay, crap, I'm overwhelmed now. I need to focus back on the short form stuff. But I like YouTube a lot. So you inspired me. Well, do you realize there's like literally a, a spot that's like, it's like the golden, like light at the, tu light at the end of the tunnel that is no one has grasped yet in the YouTube world for like a normal funny dude to like take a whole like I that's your spot like You're a, not like a it. vlog style yeah. thing yeah I okay I need to I want you to vlog watch vlog with like a little bit of bits I want you to watch my my only YouTube video I've ever okay. posted when we're done here and I let will. me know what you think okay okay we'll go through it my whole excuse was like I I had like six months where I was just in between living in the house that I was mm -hmm. in during quarantine, which is where I started all this, and then moving into my own space. And like the whole time in between there, I was like kind of traveling, I was with my parents. So I never had time, and I was like, as soon as I move into my new apartment, I'm gonna start vlogging again. Yeah. I'm like, haven't done it yet, but it's only been a month and a half. Yeah, you're fine, We're, we'll get there. We'll get there. Mm -hmm. I think you would be such a good- like, I'm gonna the, owe you for therapy like, after this You know what, it's session. like this, no, this is what it is. Someone is, a pitcher is on the mound getting ready to like throw you the perfect pitch They're, they've thrown it and it's like you're not swaying you're right to me you're right like self-sabotage like someone is throwing you the perfect pitch like freaking hollywood influencer world they're throwing you the perfect pitch and you're not swinging Jeez, in my opinion sucks. okay on youtube like there is a whole market like name this normal straight dudes on youtube that are like crushing it right now i can't there aren't that many like, oh. Or vloggers. Yeah, vloggers. I'm sorry. I, uh, that's, I was thinking that when you said that. That's how I understood there, it. There like, aren't that many. I need like, There's so many females like that I feel like crush YouTube, but like not many guys that actually like show their routine, like throw a, it, it. I feel like you think everything. Well, I guess you want to be, what, a comedian? I don't know. Do you think you're funny? I think, yeah. I think that like um, I just figured out that I'm funny. How like, did recently. you figure that out? Because I keep getting like inbounds and it's like, oh, like you need to be doing stand up. So as much like I've gotten the spiel that you're giving with you for YouTube for, for stand up. Stand -up. Like recently I've gotten it like two or three times. I've I'm never like, been to a comedy show. We need to go. Let's go yeah. to a comedy show. Yeah. They're all right next to you. They're all in West Hollywood. Like, Wait, no, I'm not in West Hollywood. I thought you were. I'm downtown. That's right. Yeah. Okay, my bad. I'm, a we downtown were talking about West Hollywood. 
okay, well, we can meet in West Hollywood. West Hollywood. I'll come from Santa Monica. <laughs> you come from DT. Um, so you want to start stand up? I guess. Yeah, I have to write. I'm going tonight with Sally Dar. Whoa! Yeah, she's doing an open mic. What? At five. I'm like, sh- do I need to go to this? Do you want to come? <laughs> yes. Okay, let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Where and what? Who? What? Where? Um, when? Why? How did she not tell me I was texting her she, yesterday? She t- she texted me this morning. It was like I'm gonna go tonight because she knows that I want to go up. Oh. And I'm not gonna go up tonight. I told her because I don't have anything written. It kind of happened. Oh my god! Really in fast. the car. Come on. I'm like, Ugh, like. <laughs> Um, but I've heard sure. from the grapevine that she killed it. She ha- she did one show and she like murdered her set. So I'm just like, oh crap! Like like seeing one of my friends do this, it's gonna really put it in perspective. Like and make it real. I this is something that can be done. Yeah. Okay. I'm so curious about comedy because, for instance, when I first started my podcast, like my team was like, yeah, it needs to be in the comedy thing, and I'm like, what? Right? Like, category. Yeah, I'm right, like, right, 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 right. What? Right? Like, at least when I started. It's a little different now. But, like, with you, like, did people tell you you were funny and then you are like, oh, I'm a comedian? Or did you just decide I'm a comedian? And we will find right out after the break. Oh, I'm so sorry. We'll find that right out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, out of it. We will find that right out. We'll find that out right after. <laughs> we will find that out. Right after the break, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please leave this in. I'm going to make this a TikTok. We will find that out right after the break. Nailed it. Wow. That was I'm good. so smart. Continue. How did you know you were funny? Um. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we were talking about... I'm like, how did, how did you decide that like, oh, I'm going to be a cop? Yeah. Like, how, how did you even, did people tell you? And then you're like, let me make this okay. serious. So before TikTok even happened, I was moving out to LA. I was still at Bumble at the time. And one of my good friends that works there is just like this insanely successful, um, like, entrepreneur. And she invited me. She's from Australia. And she's friends with one of the players on the on the Spurs, San Antonio Spurs. Cool. Who's from Australia. And he took us out to dinner. And I had the correct amount of drinks to be absolutely hilarious like I was just on it and I did uh-huh. I told a story and I went on for like 15 minutes and I didn't stop talking the whole time and everyone was like busting out laughing and my friend I brought one friend to the thing and it was all executives mm-hmm. and players and mm-hmm. like entrepreneurs and like they pulled me aside the after and they were like what was that like did you do drugs or something in the bathroom like how were you just like on it and I was like I have no idea like I just got into like a flow yeah. state uh-huh. and then I like was by myself on the plane and I was like I'm going to write down that story I told and I'm going to like really? say that all the time. And I was like, when I get to LA, like I'm going to start going to open mics. I'm going to do this improv stuff. Obviously didn't. I got busy with work. So and this then, has always kind of been like a deep down. Yeah, like, I've yeah, no, but I didn't realize that I had done that until recently. I got like a Snapchat like one year ago today of like Shut up. something. And I was like, oh, whoa. And it was like two years ago today. And then started doing TikToks and then signed with UTA yeah. and then... Um, got this like MTV thing that I've been doing on the Snapchat Casual. and they needed um, a title because they put your name and then they put like when, you, when you're on a panel you know they put your name they put the title and they were like what is your title like what are you doing I'm yeah. like, I, I don't know they're like well you're a comedian and I was like you know I? <laughs> and they're like well yeah you are like and I was like okay well I guess like creator and comedian yeah. would be so they can like someone else kind of was like you are a comedian like that's what yeah. you do you do comedy online you're a comedian and like, does that like word uh, having that like next to your name does that like kind of make you proud or like have a yeah, little bit well, of yeah well I mean it's it's cool like I still don't feel because there's so many people that work so hard at being comedians I don't feel like I deserve to put that in like my Twitter bio yet because a lot of people that I follow that are like the funniest people ever are, like comedian uh-huh. NYC like Chicago comedian stand up got it blah, blah, blah. I'm like I'm not there yet. But like I, it's it's a it's a place that I want to like slam my foot in the door too. Yeah, yeah. So I don't wow. know. It's exciting. I know. It's thanks it's for just, asking. You know, That's so nice. <laughs> no, it's a crazy. I just feel like I'm like, how do comedians get into that? That's like a area of work I'm just not that familiar with. I'm like, how do you? I don't know many like personally comedians. I'm not that familiar so I'm like, with it either. So I'm like, how do you get into that? Like, how do you? How do you get? How do you start at an open mic? Do you just go up? Yeah, it's so funny and it sucks 
balls to think about because basically I'm so sorry if I've been saying no. a bunch of like weird suck balls no. things <laughs> I love during this podcast. I love it. I love it. Um, but basically like word on the street is you literally have to go and like flop. Like, okay. And meet like become friends with like actual comedians that have gone up there and flopped themselves and met people. But like you read all the success stories of anybody on SNL and it's like they met Amy Poehler in a basement after they bombed a set. Yeah. And she saw potential and then now they're A-listers. So would SNL be like the dream like, I would end goal? love. I would Oh my god, you would kill, kill a it. member of my family. You knew you pick one <laughs> to be on SNL. <laughs> okay, really? Yeah. Have you always like had like a weird connection towards SNL or like really yeah. loved it? Yeah, okay. like I would like be the dude with my dad on Saturday nights like No way. Yeah. Are you, do you SNL. feel like you're finally in a spot on your like life journey path where you're like, I'm in the right spot? I think so. I, and if not, it's getting there. Like, I like don't, did TikTok make it hit? Probably when I do my Enneagram, en- Enneagram, Enneagram. <laughs> I'm going to figure out a lot more about this specific situation. But like looking right now, I'd be like, I, I want so much more right now. But like one year ago, I'd be like, shut up. Are you kidding me? Like, who, what? Yeah. You like, did this and did this and did this and are hanging out with this person and like and being invited to this thing totally yeah it's crazy but like it's all relative isn't that so weird how relative it is it's weird and it's weird when you get used to things that were once the most insane things in the world speaking of what did you what's an accomplishment or even a little thing it can be like so and so knows me or whatever like what's something that's happened to you that you're like holy shit you immediately called and like told your friend or your mom or whatever yeah um I don't know. Well, this is this one's wild. No, it's okay. This happened. This happened like two weeks ago, actually. And it's probably not the best example. Like a lot of the cool stuff has been like, I love like the the first couple times I was being recognized. Like that was freaking crazy. Yeah. And like people taking pictures with me. Well, now it's like like a regular thing for you. Like being on cameo and like doing you know a bunch of cameos every single day. It was like that was my job for a while. I was doing cameos. That's wild. But like two and a half weeks ago, um, I went to a party. And, like, I knew, like, 85% of the people at the party because it was just, like, different groups of people that I've been, like, hung Uh out with. Like, it was a lot lot of the vlog squad. Like, David Dobrik was Uh there. And then, like, um, some, like, a lot of my friends from, like, TikTok were there. And then there was another group of, like, my photographer, like, cool artists, travel-y friends were there. And there was one person at each of those groups that was actually hosting the event. So it was just, like, a weird, like, marriage of, like, Like, three of my friend groups. Yeah. And it was, like, a DJ set. It was so cool. And it was so much fun. And like it was like I was introducing my friends to my friends and like it was mm-hmm. so cool. And then someone's like, Oh, like Noah Centineo and Jacob Alordi just got here. And I was like, Weird. Like that is like such a weird thing to be like, I'm in LA on a Wednesday night, like got all dressed up. I'm at an event, like a party with my friends, and then also like two A A list Netflix yeah. celebrities. And I'm like, that is such a wild thing. Like, pinch me. And I'm sitting there and I'm like at a table. And I like someone grabs my shoulder and I like turn around and it's Jacob Alordi. <laughs> and he's like, dude, you are so funny. <gasps> and I was like, like someone this isn't real. like who did David Dobrik give you a Tesla? And now you're over here telling me yeah. that because I'm going to I'm going to poop my pants. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, no, dude, I love your content. Like, it's so funny. That's crazy. And I was like, holy smokes. OK, so that's really cool. Like, I it's just that. weird because like it has made everything so much more accessible. Like, uh-huh. You can no problem. Everyone's one degree away from these like gigantic people. Or a big opportunity. Or yeah. a huge opportunity, sure. Yeah. yeah. It was like so weird that I was like, Okay, like that's good. Thank thank you. Like, you should you. write down all the little like crazy things that happen so you can just remember. I know, I need to. You know what I mean? But there's there's I just mean, so many that like are, are now like you said, you just get I know, used to regular. so much stuff. Uh huh. Um, like running into people or people people recognizing you instead of vice versa when it's like, whoa. Totally. Totally. Okay, I want to ask you some poll questions. Yeah. Hold on. I love the polls. The polls? The polls are my thing. Okay. So, first one I have to ask you is who should pay on the first date, the guy or the girl? Um, okay. I think it depends. I always pay. Okay. Um, but a lot of times I don't know if I'm on a date or not. <laughs> so, I just always pay. You're um, like, I got the TikTok budget now. I can yeah, pay. Yeah, like, I... Yeah. I... I have an issue there. That'll probably come up in my score as well. Like why I can't let anyone pay for anything. But Oh really? Yeah. Ever. Like I'll like, even I'll, like, like I'll like get the tab for a dinner and then feel guilty like Venmoing people. 
I don't know what that is. Really? It's a disease for sure. But I think that like- um, Like even guy friends and stuff? Yeah, like I mean, it depends. I'm not gonna pay for like 40 people yeah. for dinner, but I'll pay for like you know if like three of my friends go out or like four of my friends. go you out. You think like, you need to pay for it all? I offer, you know, especially. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, it's, weird. it's just I just always grab the bill. I don't know what it is. My yeah. dad always did that, so I think it's like a parent thing. But yeah. like, um, if a guy and a girl are on a date, and I'm speaking um, in that situation mm-hmm. only, I think the guy would pay. I like, think, I think the guy it's should weird. pay too, but I, I just I, I can't s- think of an example where like the girl would pay. Well, some people argue if the girl was like the one that wanted to go on the date. You both want to go on the date. That's why you're on the date, right? I think that's a great point. A, you you I can't clap with like, one hand. I feel like it's not. I don't. I'm not the type really that's like let's go on a date yeah. to a dude. Like yeah. I don't know if I don't know if that's really my style. But like I know there are girls that do and they expect to pay. Sure. But, like, I think it's the guys. But maybe that was the way I was raised. I, I think it could also be, like, a, like, dated thing that I am, like, still... I can't think of a, of a situation where, like, I would let a girl pay. Yeah. Unless she was, like, get off. I'm paying. Like, I'd be, like, okay. Well. Get off. Like, she would have to really be, like, strong in her conviction that she needs to pay. And I'd be, like... Yeah. If that is your thing, and as long as you're not going on a podcast tomorrow morning or yeah. making a TikTok about this... Then... Go for it. Got it. But, yeah. Wait, do you, okay, when you're talking to someone new, do you think that you should text all day or just when you're making plans? And you like this person. Yeah. I think, like, do you text all day? Like, I. Really? I don't think, I don't think you have to. What if you're not sure if you like them You know when you're kind of smitten and you're like, oh, the conversation just ran dry. It's like. Yeah. Ugh, I'm so cold right now. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm sweating so bad at this I during hate this that podcast. When, like, they don't say a question, and then it's like, what do I say? I will literally. Th- I'm, I'll be like, how weird are fingers? <laughs> you know, like, have you ever thought about how weird fingers are? Or okay. like, or, like, you say whack ass shit. Or like, do birds? Do you think birds like hang out with like the same yeah. group of birds every okay. day? Because there's always like a group of birds. <laughs> like, I'll like think of stuff like that. Group, but of that's birds. like stuff that I would think about by myself, and now I have someone that's and gonna, it's like. like See, I will say though, I say some like out of pocket shit on dating yeah. apps, but like I'm like if this doesn't hit, then then like that's on them. You weeded them out. Yeah, not exactly. worth your time. There's you don't like, want to spend your time. So with them. I have like a thing for athletes. Yeah. And sometimes, like this one athlete, I was, he's like, "Hey, what's up?" I was like, "Hey, nothing much. How are you?" He's like, "Just got out of practice, right?" And I was like, "Oh, cool. How many push-ups can you do?" Like that's the shit yeah, I say. Yeah, yeah, I say yeah, like yeah, yeah. I'm like. Oh, you want to talk to me about your yeah, practice? Yeah. Like, let's see. Yeah, he he teed he teed I'm that like, one up. Yeah, we yeah. get it. You're a freaking athlete. Like, yeah. of course I like them, but I'm like, that's also a little cringe. Right. So I'm like, how many push-ups can he do? Yeah. And he's like, oh, what? Like, if you don't get it, then yeah. like to me, yeah. I'm like, right. That's a, that's a good one because like people are gonna get really defensive about that. Yeah, but the right like to me, the right guy would be like, haha, that was funny. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I was being too aggressive. No, I think that's funny. I do that. You have to guys. have a sense of humor. That's a good way to. That's way to. Good way to like. So you separate th- the boys from the men. Oh, nice. Yeah. So do you? You think text all day? I think it depends. Like I feel like there's some people. I have a bad habit of like getting the ick pretty fast, oh, and so you do. like yeah. What What are some things that give you the ick? The biggest one for me is when a girl likes me back. I'm just kidding. No. Me but, too. That's literally really my ick. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's like that's my ick. It, it it has been. Mine's when he chases after the ping pong ball. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. The worst. Yeah. I no. always think about it too when I'm playing beer pong. I'm like, fuck, I have to chase after this ball. Um. One for me is like getting in the car after like going to eat or something if I'm not driving. And she has to find the song and then figure out which song she's like picking to, to go first. Are you being serious? Yeah, and then being like, "That's, that's the one." No way. Yeah. Really? Yeah. To be like, what? Where is your mind going? Like, what is the vibe that you're picking for this exact situation? Okay. Yeah, that could. Wait, what's it? What do you think's a perfect song for that sitch? Like, you just end a fire date Sorry, I just and your TV down. That's okay. You just end a fire date. Maybe let's say you're driving and yeah. you're like, "Oh, here's Ox," and like. Okay, what would be a song that would be fire? And then what would be a song you'd be like, get out of my car right now? I think a song that would be fire would be like anything by John Mayer after a date. Really? Yeah. So you're kind of like a romance. I know, but it's, it's pretty neutral also because it's like good vibes and like. I love John Mayer. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty okay. neutral. Um, bad. 
Yeah, what would be like awful? Uh, Besides like the obvious like heavy metal or like rap would be bad. Like like what rap song? Like Knife Talk Drake. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> something by yeah, just like like future after you get out of a day like incredible. <laughs> no, like no, that would be a okay. no go for me. I'd be like, what about psycho? like psycho? What about like Khalid or like yeah, something that's more? good. Yeah, okay. like you could do like R and B pop type thing. Got yeah, it. like chill. No um, EDM. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> what about a country song? Do you like country? I like country a lot. Yeah. Okay. What yeah. about a country song? I could do country. Really? Yeah. What about a what's a country song you would be like? Oh my god, get it off. Um. Hold down, throw down. Yeah, like a poppy okay. country song that like. What are you like a Willie Nelson guy? I like Willie okay. Nelson. Yeah, yeah. I've, seen, I've seen Willie I Nelson like, like four so times. So many guys are like, I only listen to real country. No, no, yeah. I listen to radio. Okay, country <laughs> like it's like on my it's like my number one thing just because it like is wholesome. Yeah, you know? I feel like I don't know about you, but country is like my comfort zone. Like it reminds me of home. Same. Like, I pretend I'm like driving not through traffic. Yeah, on like a small town road. Yeah, it feels it. On a back it's road. therapeutic. Like, and I, I'm so tired of people being like, I hate country music. I'm like, you hate the simple pleasures in life. I know. Like being in love. Yeah. And the summertime. Or the and way a, your jeans fit. And a dog Boots. that's yeah. Yeah. And having your toes in the sand. <laughs> you suck. You're a hater. Yeah. You know. <laughs> and having your toes in the sand. Good one. And grow okay. Up. Um. Okay. How many times a week do you see someone when you're newly dating? What do you think is normal? Let's. I'll give you a range. Between um, like out of seven days, yeah. Let's say once a week or once every couple weeks. Oh, or do you think more? I'm like oh I'm busy. God. I don't have time to see someone. I'm a like lot. finding out a lot about your your <laughs> detachment style. Um, I'm like I take it slow. Yeah, I think. Do you think more? See, I would hang out, like like eat like Friday and Saturday, probably like weekend stuff. Okay. Because I would probably want to bring whoever this is. Around your, my friends, yeah, okay, or I whatever plans. I mean, assuming I don't have plans and I'm just like doing my same old like bar hopping but not thing really on during Friday, the week. Saturday. Um, I could do like one dinner during the week. Like, okay. I think that'd be fun. I think yeah, one like date night, yeah, and then like maybe the weekend ones, yeah, or a happy hour dinner situation. Yeah, and then, I like that. I think yeah. like I'm not, I don't know. I'm busy. Uh, I'm not just trying to be like I'm too busy or whatever, but like I like I bring value it, my time. Bring him as a plus one to one of these events during the week. Maybe. Yeah. I guess so. Have you ever brought someone on a date? I haven't since TikTok now, but honestly, like there hasn't the the like event things for me like just started. Okay. Like in 2021 is has been like They kind of I'm fairly new to this too. Like mine kind of started event stuff like on my own started like 2021 okay cool yeah. yeah so like no not this year um just because i've been when i wasn't living here because i moved here a month and a half mm-hmm. ago when i wasn't living here i was living in orange county so when you i moved here a month and a half ago moved into my new place a month oh, and a half ago okay yeah in so, la you were living in orange county yeah i oh, was I in newport beach for, for all of the lockdown okay. up until yeah um and then came up here to do to live with the crew for got it the crew. The crew. What about how long after matching with someone on a dating app should you go on a first date? Do you think? Um, probably chat like two or three days. I, I think, think like let's cut to the chase. Let's, let's go do on the why, date. Why would you waste any more time? And I say two or three more days because I'm assuming the days that I'm initially matching with someone on a dating app is Sunday. Typically. That is my dating app day. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's Sunday. proven. Yeah. It's the highest Wait, surge. It is? Yeah. <gasps> Wait, this is tea. Give me yeah. the tea. Give me more. It's the highest surge. If you ever, if you, if you're ever willing to pay for the surge on Bumble, for instance. What is that? What's the surge? It puts your your profile first on like every like eligible and it bachelors. Actually does? Yeah, and it gives you. I think it's half an hour of you being seven p.m. on Sundays is the number one highest That's performing. Literally only when I get on dating apps. If I'm sad, like on a Sunday, and I'm like Fuck Sunday it. evening, everybody's on at the same time. Like highest percentage of swiping, like like active users is that makes is so much that. sense. Yeah. Wow. The more you know. Yeah. So if you pay for boost during that time, it, you'll end up with like at least being seen the most that you'll. Okay. Be seen. Do you think there's a good go-to uh, saying for girls, like specifically on Bumble, when you are the one that needs to say something first, like the girl? I here's another factoid that what? like is randomly coming to my brain. I, if you tailor your message to the person about one of their photos, 
or yeah. one of their like prompts, it's like doubles your chance of like getting a response. Love. So without, I always try and do that. Yeah, yeah. Like talk about something in the profile. Got it. And vice versa, have something in your profile that is talkable about. Mm -hmm. so. I love that. I feel like every time I I like do a little scroll of the profile, and if there's something like a prompt or like. I like when people actually do funny things on the prompts because it's to. easier yeah. for me to like yeah. say something. And yeah, I don't know. I'm specifically thinking one time there was this dude he like had in his profile. I only remember this because I thought my line was pretty good. <laughs> this guy was like um, just trying to look for like my Wendy peppercorn, like something yeah. like that, yeah, right? Yeah. And I like love the sand lot. So I immediately slid in and I was like, good thing I know CPR. And like, that's funny. It hit yeah. right away. Yeah, that's funny. And then this other dude, he was like, like, I like how they write shit because yeah. then I know what to say. Otherwise, I'm like, what do I say? Right. And we girls have to stay stuff. So yeah. it was like, which I actually don't mind. I kind of like starting yeah. it off because then I like talk to who I want to. <laughs> right, right, right. But this guy, he was like from the Midwest and I'm from the Midwest right. and I'm like a big, big Midwest girl. So I like messaged him and I was like, so are you a hoe for ranch too? <laughs> and he was like, what the hell? This is so good. Like, yes, whatever. But like, what do you say if you don't, if there's nothing in the prompts? You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess tailor it as best you can to a photo. But if not, I like, guess what that's- would, what, what would something be? Give us an so, example. So like I try, like my mug shots in my dating profile app. Shut up. A dating app profile. I need to see your mug shot. I haven't seen it. Um. You can show me I, that I'll, I'll Google it okay. after. But um, <laughs> I'll Google it. It's like an easy, like, I mean, that's like, wait, what did you go to jail for? Do you get that all the time? Yeah, all yeah. the time. That's a good um, one. It's like a, that's like a, I do it to be funny, obviously. What if it's like the normal dude, like one from the wedding, one like with mom, one with freaking dog, like, what like you say? Yeah, I was trying to find something interesting in your photos and there's literally nothing. Yeah. Here's, here's the bone you should have thrown me. And it's like the <laughs> leg bone that's or something. That's kind of. That's kind of funny. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's so hard. I think you just don't swipe on those people. They're boring. Really? Yeah, you, I, I think in this day and age, you can tell so much about someone by the way that they- Present themselves? Perceive, no, not perceive themselves. Present, Present themselves, themselves? On the internet. Yeah. That's why we can like stalk someone on Instagram or something True. and be like, like this is a normal person. Yeah. Like, as a normal funny person. Yeah. Okay, you're right. I like that. Yeah. All right, I only have a few more. Day drinking, fun or overrated? I'm in a weird headspace for that question right now. Really? It is my favorite thing in the world, but unfortunately, like, I'm unable to stop, cause, and it'll carry over to nighttime drinking. Like, I wish that I had the self-control to just be like, all right, I drank during the day. Good job. Mm -hmm. I'm out. Instead, I'm like, okay, where are we going after this? Which you is just stop. like, no, because I'm having so much fun. I think it's fun. I don't think it's overrated at I all. think I agree. No, I think it's a blast. Yeah. You're just you're there's just this like looming battle. thing on the back where it's like, all right, let's go to dinner and then go out after got it. and I'm like, Okay, here yeah. we go. I got Gonna pizza hate myself after tomorrow. Jameson's and yeah. then I went back out. It was like a marathon. Yeah. I did the same thing. I went home, had dinner, changed, and then went to that birthday. Yeah. So fun. Okay, only a few more. If a girl makes more money than you, is that intimidating or a turn off? No. That's awesome that's the plus that's great <laughs> that's the point i feel like though like coming from my perspective like there's i have a lot of really successful female friends and like it's really really hard to date especially in la because everyone's like a clout demon yeah yeah so it's like they either act like they don't care and then they're secretly like building up resentment because I feel like inevitably like guys just like to take care of the girl. Right. I don't know whether that's like a nature or nurture thing, but like I'm just curious because like you, you seem to be doing fine or like you, you seem confident in like yourself that like, so that doesn't bother you? No, that doesn't bother me at all. That's really? awesome. No. I feel like it's so hard to date like normal guys because they get so intimidated by that. They don't like it. I guess I just can't wrap my head around why that would be bad. Like that that's like a that's like a personal issue that really? I think an that's individual what I think has too, to deal with. But it just with. sucks when you're a girl and you're like killing it and then like guys don't like it. That is so weird. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Like I, that's like a, I don't even know what you, I've never even <laughs> that's seen like that happen. That's like what all my friends deal with. We're like Whoa. Yeah, they're either like want to use you to like use you and act like they like you to get to where you are or 
they're act like it doesn't bother them and then secretly they're building resentment because like you want to go to all your fun things that you normally do and you want to take your mans but they can't um like help provide in that way or right, you know what i mean right, like right. it's just it's a weird dynamic i think that is a weird dynamic i don't yeah. have an answer for that <laughs> besides right. like that no I'm that, like help us <laughs> that wouldn't bug me at all no like if like some extremely loaded girl girl was like was taking like, you out taking me and i'd be like awesome cool yeah but wouldn't that bother you because you like paying for everyone i would just be like next one's on me or like yeah Got it. like if, tradesies yeah like if i'm if it's obvious that it, it would just be like pointless for me to pay because this person is loaded yeah. i'd be like okay that's awesome. I'm so happy for you. Okay. Killing it. Um, have you ever lied about liking something because the girl, a girl you like said they like it? For instance, like, I'll be like, oh my God, I love hockey. And like, I don't fucking yeah, know I've gone to Yeah, I've gone to shows, like concerts. Oh, really? Yeah, that I, that's a hard one to fake because you don't know the words to the songs. <laughs> yeah, you're like watermelon. I'll watermelon, be like, I'll be like watermelon. the day before, like okay, I have to listen to this whole freaking <laughs> album. Okay, all right, like trying to memorize the the lines. So you went to a concert being like, yeah, I love. I've them. done that a couple times actually. Yeah, because I really like shows and usually like the energy is fun enough to where it's like yeah. whatever. And but, that's like a thing in LA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I definitely don't have to be like, yeah, I love them. You know, like I could just yeah. be like, oh, I would love to go. That's they so seem funny. they seem really good. I did that poll a while ago, and fifty two percent said they did they do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people do that if you like someone. That's pretty much everything. Those my are poll good questions. polls. Thanks. Is that that, that last one's pretty ones. good. Oh, the have you? I ever feel like lied? you get some story times out of that one. I know. I definitely have acted like I, or I'll be like, yeah, I love this song, or yeah. like, you know what I mean. I'll just be like, or they'll reference something I I've never heard of, and I'll be like, yeah, smile and nod. Yeah. Yeah. Which like, and it always screws you in the long yeah. run. I always like now. I'm just like, I what's that? <laughs> My favorite line now is like, I don't know why I said that. Like, I don't know. I have no <laughs> I idea why that. I said that. <laughs> okay, well, Connor, it has been lovely. It has having been you so on. much fun. Thank TK. you so much. Thank you. Um, where can everyone follow you, find you, pimp yourself out? Especially give them your YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, I will be on YouTube very, very soon. Um, there's one video there if everyone wants to go check <laughs> yeah, it out. I'm gonna We're go gonna give watch you, like, it. We're gonna watch it. Hundred views. After this, but um, Fibula, two A's, F I B U L A A on TikTok and YouTube. Okay. And Twitter, actually. Ooh. Fun. Um, and then just one A on Instagram, F I B U L A, like the what leg. What does bone. fibula mean? It's a bone in the leg, as far as I know. Yeah, but like, why? Basically, do you have that? Is that your I nickname? Should I tell a story? It's 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 a, it's a quick story. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Basically, in college. Uh, my friends and I would go to this festival ACL in Austin. You love ACL. I huh? love ACL. It's so it's much like fun. It's like your personality. It's trait. like my favorite. Yeah. Like, yeah. Festival. Live, laugh, love. Um, ACL. ACL. Tattooed on my back. <laughs> live, um, laugh, love ACL. So basically, we we'd been going. I've gone like 12, 13 years. In Shoot, a row. do I need to go? It is so much fun. You is it like it. a cowboy boot vibe? You can dress, you can wear whatever you want. Yeah, you could wear the cowboy. Okay. Fit. Um, live, laugh, love. Uh, so <laughs> we basically have, we've been going forever since we were like sophomores in high school mm -hmm. and during those years like to get through the crowd because we were like oh we need to be in the front they would run up to me because i had the bieber swoop even then oh the like swoosh yeah yeah and they'd run Did up you to do me that? like yeah fully like <laughs> everyone in high school and me were like breaking our nice. necks trying to like yeah. swoop our hair swoop um they'd run up to me my friends and be like can we get a photo can we get a photo like before this whole thing uh -huh. happened obviously and all everyone around us would be like bieber no, no, my friends would do that as like to cause oh, a scene. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Copy. And this is related nothing to the name still. Okay. But we do it, and then they'd be like, "Where's he from? Look, who is that?" And they'd be like, "Oh, he's on Wizards of Waverly Place." <laughs> and I wasn't obviously, but no one's gonna look that Incredible up to fact check show. it. <laughs> but basically, they'd be like, "Oh, who is he?" And I'm like, "I, I should get some followers out of this because like, so I had yeah. my my first and last name was my Instagram, and and I was like, I need to like make up a one word thing, and then I don't know how I ended up with Fibula. You but just thought of it. I just thought of it. And so, like, that was my nickname all through college was Fibs because I lie a lot. And then. That was your nickname, Fibs? Fibs, yeah. Oh, and, and then, then you thought of Fibula? Well, Fibula just, like, stuck. So, yeah. Got it. Yeah, so long story. So, but... you made your Instagram that at ACL? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it was fun. It was a good time. And I'm glad. It's... Here we are. And now is everyone, like, what is Fibula? I, yeah. I will say when I first, like. Saw your TikToks, it stood out. I was like, "Who's what's fibula?" Like, yeah, you know what I mean, like it totally. stands no. out. I mean, it. I I never thought of it as like, "Oh, this will be a good like buzz buzzy kind of." See, 
username. That's how my name, like my Instagram name's TK's Juicy yeah. Polls, yeah, yeah, and yeah. now it's like everything. But I made that because I one winter break. I'll just give you the brief like story. Yeah. One winter break, I was home from college, and I was like so bored, and I was like with my brother and all of our friends because our house is like the house where everyone comes yeah. over during winter break. <laughs> yeah. And so we're like hanging That's out, so and polls came out. And I like wasn't an influencer or anything, yeah. and I was like, "Ooh, this is kind of fun." So I started making polls. Yeah. And my crushes, like I, I like to have like a lot of crushes. So I was like, all of them started voting in my polls, and I was like, "Oh my god, John Doe's like voting in yeah, my like yeah, yeah. in my polls." Like, wait, I want to start asking like dating related questions. Yeah. So then I'd be like, "Is it hot when like a girl does this?" And like John Doe would vote, and I would like know what he thought. Yeah. That's so funny. So that's how I became the poll girl, and like ever since then, I've been doing like polls almost every day on my story. Shut up. And so I became TK's Juicy Polls, and then that just like, and now people literally are like, "Are you TK's Juicy Polls?" Because it it's easier to remember. Yeah. You're like, "What is that?" Yeah. You know that I mean? is so funny. But fibula, that that's how it, I like stood out. I was like, "What does this mean?" Oh, it's funny. It's a leg bone. Yeah. Well, mine's my juicy bowls, so. And I love the juicy bowls. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, be sure to follow Fibula on everything and subscribe to his YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe to YouTube on here. If you're listening, be sure to follow us on YouTube and subscribe, rate and review, do all the things. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, at TK's Juicy Polls. And be sure to make someone's day this week. Peace. Woohoo.